The causal sets program is an approach to quantum gravity. Its founding principles are that space-time is fundamentally discrete and that space-time events are related by a partial order. This partial order has the physical meaning of the causality relations between space-time events. The program is based on a theorem by David Malament that states that if there is a bijective map between two past and future distinguishing space-times that preserves their causal structure or then the map is a conformal isomorphism. The conformal factor that is left undetermined is related to the volume of regions in the space-time. This volume factor can be recovered by specifying a volume element for each space-time point. The volume of a space-time region could then be found by counting the number of points in that region. Causal sets was initiated by Raphael Sorkin who continues to be the main proponent of the program. He has coined the slogan, order plus number equals geometry, to characterize the above argument. The program provides a theory in which space-time is fundamentally discrete while retaining local Lorentz invariance. Definition a causal set is a set with a partial order relation that is reflexive. For all, we have antisymmetric. For all, we have transitive. For all, we have implies locally finite. For all, we have card. Here card. Although this definition uses the reflexive convention we could have chosen the irreflexive convention in which the order relation is irreflexive. The causal relation of a Lorentzian manifold satisfies the first three conditions. It is the local finiteness condition that introduces space-time discreteness. Comparison to the continuum Given a causal set we may ask whether it can be embedded into a Lorentzian manifold. An embedding would be a map taking elements of the causal set into points in the manifold such that the order relation of the causal set matches the causal ordering of the manifold. A further criterion is needed however before the embedding is suitable. If, on average, the number of causal set elements mapped into a region of the manifold is proportional to the volume of the region then the embedding is said to be faithful. In this case we can consider the causal set to be manifold-like. A central conjecture to the causal set program is that the same causal set cannot be faithfully embedded into two spacetimes that are not similar on large scales. This is called the Hauptvermutung, meaning fundamental conjecture. It is difficult to define this conjecture precisely because it is difficult to decide when two spacetimes are similar on large scales. Modeling spacetime as a causal set would require us to restrict attention to those causal sets that are manifold-like. Given a causal set this is a difficult property to determine. Sprinkling the difficulty of determining whether a causal set can be embedded into a manifold can be approached from the other direction. We can create a causal set by sprinkling points into a Lorentzian manifold. By sprinkling points in proportion to the volume of the space-time regions and using the causal order relations in the manifold to induce order relations between the sprinkled points. We can produce a causal set that can be faithfully embedded into the manifold. To maintain Lorentz invariance this sprinkling of points must be done randomly using a Poisson process. Thus the probability of sprinkling points into a region of volume is where is the density of the sprinkling. Sprinkling points in on a regular lattice would not keep the number of points proportional to the region volume. Geometry some geometrical constructions in manifolds carry over to causal sets. When defining these we must remember to rely only on the causal set itself, not on any background spacetime into which it might be embedded. For an overview of these constructions, see geodesics a link in a causal set is a pair of elements such that but with no such that. A chain is a sequence of elements such that for the length of a chain is if every in the chain form a link, then the chain is called a path. A geodesic between two elements is a chain consisting only of links such that an the length of the chain is maximal over all chains from two. In general there can be more than one geodesic between two comparable elements. 
Myheim first suggested that the length of such a geodesic should be directly proportional to the proper time along a time-like geodesic joining the two space-time points. Tests of this conjecture have been made using causal sets generated from sprinklings into flat spacetimes. The proportionality has been shown to hold and is conjectured to hold for sprinklings in curved spacetimes too. Dimension estimators Much work has been done in estimating the manifold dimension of a causal set. This involves algorithms using the causal set aiming to give the dimension of the manifold into which it can be faithfully embedded. The algorithms developed so far are based on finding the dimension of a Minkowski spacetime into which the causal set can be faithfully embedded. My high Maya dimension. This approach relies on estimating the number of length chains present in a sprinkling interdimensional Minkowski spacetime. Counting the number of length chains in the causal set then allows an estimate for to be made. Midpoint scaling dimension. This approach relies on the relationship between the proper time between two points in Minkowski spacetime and the volume of the spacetime interval between them. By computing the maximal chain length between two points and encountering the number of elements such that the dimension of the spacetime can be calculated, these estimators should give the correct dimension for causal sets generated by high-density sprinklings into dimensional Minkowski spacetime. Tests in conformally flat spacetimes have shown these two methods to be accurate. Dynamics An ongoing task is to develop the correct dynamics for causal sets. These would provide a set of rules that determine which causal sets correspond to physically realistic spacetimes. The most popular approach to developing causal set dynamics is based on the sum over histories version of quantum mechanics. This approach would perform a sum over causal sets by growing a causal set one element at a time. Elements would be added according to quantum mechanical rules and interference would ensure a large manifold like space-time would dominate the contributions. The best model for dynamics at the moment is a classical model in which elements are added according to probabilities. This model, due to David Rideout and Raphael Sorkin, is known as classical sequential growth dynamics. The classical sequential growth model is a way to generate causal sets by adding new elements one after another. Rules for how new elements are added are specified and, depending on the parameters in the model, different causal sets result.